Man, there's something about a Gibson Les Paul. It just works, man. It's moreguitars.com. I'm Brett, and I am playing this guitar, which is beautiful and black, but it's not a black beauty. Only two pickups here. But this is a Les Paul Custom. This is a new guitar, all black, beautiful, gold hardware. I mean, this thing is about as pimping as it gets. So uh, it's elegant. It's elegant. That's why I like playing stuff like... There aren't many guitars out there that you kind of look at and say rock and roll like this one. And it actually sounds that great clean. You know what I'm saying? That's why like, you know, you listen to Guns N' Roses albums and the clean channel. I mean, that chimey that's from these pickups. I mean, these are, I mean, Gibson pickups are among the best, no matter what anybody wants to say. This has a 490R and a 490T and it sounds good no matter which pickup you have it on. Um, but what I want to do is go through the guitar, and I want to play it in all its pickup settings and let you make a decision. But if you ever wanted like the elegant, best feeling, Les Paul, just good old fashioned, just what you see on the cover of rock and roll albums, this is it, man. This is it. So let's uh, let's go through this thing. So. Obviously, we have a mahogany body, double bound, double purfled, perfed, purfled, purfling, whatever you call it. Um, two piece maple top, just like any other guitar that's figured, but they use a, a plain top because there's no sense in wasting a really beautiful top on it. Sounds the same, so they use it and they paint it black. Cool. Uh, two piece adjustable stop tail. Um, tons of sustain there. It's a mahogany neck, ebony board, bound board. Just this, that's what sets this guitar off. I mean, it, you know, it's a, a good, now this isn't a custom shop. This is a Les Paul custom and it is double bound. Okay. I mean, that's the idea behind a custom. Okay. The double binding and the, and the bound fretboard. So, uh, it's got the Grover kidney tuners and, uh, so the, the, it's just the, Everything's just such a great upgrade on this guitar. They keep bringing this thing along and it's uh, and it just keeps getting better. Uh, this does have the nine hole weight relief, so it's not the, the drastic weight relief, but chances are this guitar was pretty darn heavy and they decided to cut, you know, they knew it was gonna be heavy because of the piece of the mahogany they were putting in it. So they went ahead and drilled it. It's still substantial, guys. I mean, I don't know what this particular one weighs. Uh, Pardon me, man, I didn't sleep at all last night. I was dreaming about this guitar. Anyway, but um, you can look on our website and we'll have the weight on there. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's get into it. Let's, talk, let's play this guitar. So I'm going to play it clean, okay? So here's um, the neck pickup, clean channel on a uh, Fillmore 50 Mesa Boogie. <laughs> I mean, they do say another brand is the piano of guitars and Gibson is the organ or the whatever you want to call it, I don't know, but it does sound, it's, it's just such a beautiful. Nice, it's just rich, sounds great. So let's go to the uh, neck, uh, the bridge pickup. You know, and that has a little bit more bite to it, obviously, is which, you know, the difference between these two pickups and their placement. But, um, you know, a lot of these amps these days are coming out really dark sounding, you know, uh, it kind of going off the old like Warren Haynes Saldano thing where everything's dark and it just sounds real meaty, you know. I mean, to me, this thing sounds great in this bridge position. <laughs> 
still it sounds a little thin for my taste, but like you put it on one of those amps that has a lot of that low end, a lot of that meat down in the bottom, and this guitar is gonna just eat your lunch on a high gain set setting. So we'll get into that maybe a little bit. But uh, this is with all the knobs turned all the way up. Volume, tone, everything up. Um, I'll, I'll roll this one back. Make sure I'm on the right one here. Roll it back a little bit and see if we can get. That's This is back up. This is at about four or five. So to me, that's a really nice sound. You know, I mean, a lot of people don't generally tend to use their bridge pickup much, as, as much as I think they could if they just want to explore it a little bit. You know, I, I use it for a lot of stuff, and it doesn't mean I have to play, you know, jump in the fire or something like that. You know what I mean? I can play Steely Dan with it. You know, I've been playing... Um, some black crows and stuff and you know and just changing my amp setting a little bit so I can get a little bit more of that punch a little bit more of that brightness out of that bridge pickup so uh, let's go to both pickups tones and volumes all the way up actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go bridge sorry neck bridge middle real quick here neck <laughs> Is the bridge I mean you literally could go out for a bite and come back and it would still be ringing you know like on the movie the So it makes me, yeah. Now here's the here's the here's the two pickups. So I'm trying to just play some things that, that the masses play, you know what I mean? I'm not going to shred, I'm not able to shred, but uh, I'm going to, you know, just play through some things. So let's go dirty here. Let's go to the uh, neck pickup. See, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty mean sounding, pretty dark. Let's go to the bridge. You know, that's a cool thing. I got, you know, I, I, I like to talk too much, but you're going to learn something today if you don't know this. But like, you know, we play a lot of different guitars through these, through these demos. And you know, something that everybody should be mindful of is the, the, the fret size. You know what I mean? Like medium, medium jumbo. Is it a, you know, whatever brand, you know, because like, you heard me a minute ago, I want you to leave that in, Larry. Maybe you can even dump, rewind it, or I'll redo it here. Where, you know, that's a simple case of me pushing too hard because I've been playing my guitar at home and I, the frets are real low on it. So like I'm pushing too hard, putting too much tension, but here. So 
so my thing is I gave up on a guitar a few years ago. Stop trying to call me. Uh, gave up on a guitar a few years ago because I couldn't get, I couldn't play it in tune. It just had gigantic frets. Well, I feel like I shouldn't have given up, given up on it because I, when I soloed, I loved it, but I just couldn't play chords jumping back and forth between guitars. I wish I would have just shaved the, the, the frets and kept the guitar, but I couldn't get along with it, so I let it go. But what I'm, so my point is, you know, if you, got a guitar, if you have a guitar that you just feel like is playing out of tune all the time, it may not be the strings, it just may be, you know, user error and that's okay, you know, it's a learning experience. So you may want to give that a shot, you know. So anyway, it, it enlightened me about seven or eight years ago as to just how much I sounded different on guitars and it made me play different because of the, the fret sizes. So anyway, knowledge has di been dis uh, bestowed upon you. Now let's move on. So obviously, you're not gonna use that a whole lot uh, for chords like that, but that has a good sound. So here's here is the um, the bridge pickup, same same key, just noodling a little. So it's got the drive, you know, that might not be real suitable. It's a little bit brittle, but listen, I'm not making a bunch of changes on the amps for this, you know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna play in that setting, I'm gonna tweak on a pedal, you know what I mean? That sounds good though. We just all know that that's not, you're not really gonna use that exact sound. You're gonna tweak it a little bit, but what I'm giving you is a ballpark to where the guitar sits, you know what I mean? And you can go from there. You can change out pickups, you can use different pedals, you can use different amp settings, you can buy a different amp. You can not buy the guitar if you don't like it, but I just want you to know what you can, you can and can't do with it. So um, I think that's taken us, other than both pickups and dirty, you know, let's see what that sounds like, but I think that kind of takes us through this journey. I might play Noodle a little clean on the way out just so you can hear a little bit of that because all I've played is chords. But anyway, here we go with uh, both pickups. <laughs> Alright everybody, so this is moreguitars.com. Check us out. Make sure you hit the button down here to like or subscribe. We're ho hopefully we get to keep doing this through this COVID business and we get to keep uh, showing you some really cool guitars. I'm really glad to be back at it. It is so good to be back around all my friends here and doing this again. Um, again, moreguitars.com. Christmas is coming. Make sure you go to our website and sign up for our newsletter. You are not going to regret it. Deals, info, all that stuff. Giveaways for Christmas. You are going to miss it if you do not sign up. So anyway, moreguitars.com. Thanks a lot. We're here to help. Please, all this BS aside, we're here to help. We love you all. Please stay safe and healthy. We love you all. Be careful. Have a good day.